five or six year old, that's not really rough yet for it to be any type of hate in your life. Uh, but my cousin Katie was Joey's honorary blue bear manager partner. That's also two girls have. And Katie being my cousin, we used to spend time together. Uh, she spent more time with me. And any six year old will tell you they don't put up with that shit. Apologize for the language. This is just from the line of six year olds. Um, however, if any of you know Joe, uh, Joe, I'm very sorry that I didn't know this was a big problem at the time. You need to know that Katie was my best friend. Yeah. Was. Okay. Oh. No, and then it's supposed to this guy. Yeah. Save all the ahs and moves for us. We had a special thing until Joey messed it up. <laughs>
to relate. <laughs> So, when it comes to instilling these qualities into your kids, I assume that it also, in turn, you assume that it's going to help them have a good judgment and lead them into any of the people that they ultimately want to end up with. So, I actually took this to the test and I asked them something. Oh, you did it to yourself. So, I asked in January of a half page to a page summary of why they want to marry each other. And just keep it separate, don't show each other, just send it to me. Not to be allowed, but more so just context for my speech. Three weeks, Jody sent it to me. Full page, well written. It's probably lame, but she emailed it to me. Exactly what I wanted. Joe, Joe, Joe's a busy guy, right? And he stayed busy for a few months. But I wasn't worried, because Joe, he says it how it is. He, he knows what he likes, he tells you that he likes it. Uh, it's kind of a bureau trip. You gotta say it out loud. Uh, a good example of this is our bachelor party weekend. I promise this is gonna go first, full circle. I know it's long. Just so we had, we had a bachelor party weekend a few months up in Maine. And we had so many things planned. We were gonna go rent a boat for a day, we were gonna go down to Portland, rain shooting, axe throwing, ATVs. But what did you do? Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. But it was great. It was good. It was simple. It, it was the people. The people made it great. Everybody who came again, thank you for coming. Those who couldn't make it, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> no, all that Joe wanted was good people, cared about it, and just came back and had a nice time. It was perfect. So to bring back to my story, by the end of the bachelor party, Joey still hasn't given me the letter about Joey. But he, he, he's, been, he's been very busy. I, he's been playing yard games and, and video games. So, that's all. Oh, I'm drinking beer. Okay. So there's three things. That was great. So, by the uh, last night, uh, picture this. This is the beer I'm talking to you. Everybody's been drinking all day. Your son, John, the youngest, is out front with a watermelon on his head. <laughs> but for the first time this weekend, Joey and I actually grew up a moment of silence alone. And Joey, I'm sorry to share this, but it broke down. He, he felt so bad that he couldn't explain why he wanted to marry Joey because he's never had this movie. Sometimes when you have feelings that are the strongest because they hurt so much. So good. The toughest thing to And I didn't even think it was a joke. I saw it all back then. Six years old. That's how long my mom's had. I've never seen my friend like that. I was taken aback. Uh, to be honest, I didn't know what to say. I just kind of sat there. I probably threw it up. You saw me tonight. <laughs> and I just thought I was saying what you say. I was like, what is that? It wasn't just me. John walked over with three shots. Wrap it all together. Mr. and Mrs. Hayes, this is probably my first public conversation with you. So I'm not to everybody. I do want to say thank you for shaping Jody into what she is today. Obviously, I can be a great friend, but she does more with family than Marty does. Maybe more so than you, Joe. 
because you always find a way to make people feel like family. Because I know I'm not the only one here who feels like that way. So, damn straight.